Hello, Tab Nation. It's your boy Tom, and today we are, as you can see, are going to be looking at how to use Auto Hotkey, both version one, version two, to do the uh, recapture, and just uh, yeah, do a few different options, some hints, tips with that. Uh, so I'm just using the uh, Google test page for this. Uh, as you see, it's just got some basic information. We're kind of really ignore all that we're just looking at this right here now one thing that people just don't seem to understand is they think that like a computer program like auto hockey scripts can't see this and click on it it's actually not testing so much that you can just click here because when i click here what it's actually doing is it's looking at depending on the site two different things it's looking at my browsing history you know what i've been using my browser for to see does it look like something shady am i going to the same website a hundred times a day doing the exact same thing over and over again or am i going on facebook you know scrolling five minutes then facebook later scrolling 10 minutes looking at different things you know it's looking does the activity look human another thing it can do too is you, it looks at your mouse movements sometimes so if i'm just basically and this is more for like the images if my mouse goes from right here where it is now straight over like in a perfect line obviously i can't do that because i'm a human and then goes straight down like literally a line line that's going to look shady because even with me like holding my hand trying to move straight across i'm going to go up a few pixels down a few pixels you know it's going to see that uh, so that's kind of uh, just a brief idea of how these actually work. Some people just think that literally all it is is just clicking, and that's not really it. But as you see, we see that it's working. Let's go ahead and refresh this. And let's look at the code, shall we? All right, so here we go. We got version 1 uh, AHK here. We just got chord mode, screen. Uh, you may or may not need that. Play around with that. It's really up to you. Um, we're actually going to jump to the bottom here with F3. Let me actually go ahead and run this script. Um, this is just doing mouse get position. It's getting the X coordinates and the Y uh, position of just where my mouse currently is. And then it's going to just throw those into the clipboard. So what I want to do is go here. I'm going to hover my mouse over where I want it to actually click. I'm going to push F3. I'm going to come back over here. We'll just use uh, this. But as you see, I can paste into there, and there are my coordinates right there. That's the X. That is the Y. Um, now, these we need to put up here where the mouse move is, or you need to put it here where we're doing the actual click. Um, so we're going to just throw those in here. And that looks pretty good. And make sure we delete that because we don't need that there because it's not a real line of code. So now we got our coordinates. Um, actually, I guess we need to put them down here also. Oop, there we go. So with F1, we're actually going to be moving the mouse. We're then going to sleep for three seconds or 3,000 milliseconds. This, you honestly, I'm just making it that high of a number just so that we can see it in the video a little bit better. Uh, and then click literally just does a mouse click. So pretty easy. And then a return just is kind of like a stop sign. You know, that's the end of this function. Let's stop. We don't want to keep going with the code. So that's F1. Let's try that one out. All right. So here I am. Uh, I'm going to push F1. Something I do want to talk about is, see, I'm pressing F1 right now. I guess you can't see it, but it's not working. A reason for that is Chrome is kind of blocking that. So it also depends on what application you're working. But if I click on my desktop, even though I can still see my window here, it's not my focused window. But as you see, the mouse did just move. Uh, it didn't move to the right coordinates, but it did click. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's something you really got to play with. Uh, it's kind of a pain um, to use. Um, see, it's, it's moving right here for some reason. But if I move it here before that three seconds, it is clicking. So you're just going to have to play with the coordinates. For some reason, it's being a little funky there. Now, the next one is F2. Basically, we're doing the same thing as up here, but we're not using the mouse move. We're just doing a click at these coordinates, so my mouse doesn't really move. Um, so here we are in um, this. I'm going to push F1. And uh, once again, Chrome is focused. It's not really working. Click out on my desktop. Oh, you know what? I'm pushing the wrong button here. 
F2. That's why it's being weird. So F2, it did move it. Coordinates, once again, are still being a little funky. Um, but if I click there and do it, I'm not sure why it's doing this with the coordinates. Some, for some reason, it grabbed, it's grabbing the coordinates wrong. Maybe it's, I need to get rid of the coordinate mode. Let's try that. Let's relaunch that. Like I said, it's a, it's a play game. Playing around to get it right. Let's go ahead and push F3. Get those back. Should be the same. Yeah, a little different. That's fine. It's close enough. Go back to Chrome. There we go. That was F2. Now it's working. F2 is being weird. Um, but see, as a F2, the nice thing about that is with this one, I can actually use inside of Chrome. With the other one, I kind of have to not have Chrome as the focus. So these are basically just two options. Try them out. See which one's going to work correctly. You have to play around with the coordinates a little bit. It, you know, there's preventative me uh, measures that they try to use. So it's, you know, trial and error a few times. As we saw, that was a pretty easy fix. Now with version 2... Um, there's not a whole lot. I guess we don't really always need this here. Just extra. Once again, play around. F1, F2, F3, all the same function, just you know, a little bit different formatting. So as you see here, you know, everything needs to be a um, enclosed by curly brackets because it's function. Uh, so we did that there, here, and down here, and yeah, just the formatting is a little different. Mouse move goes into parentheses. Uh, you just put your coordinates x y in there with the uh, separator here comma uh, your sleep basically looks exactly the same except for it's enclosed in um, parentheses click just has a parenthesis at the end returns the same so pretty simple stuff you know you're just doing a lot of putting stuff in parentheses here we're using quotation marks just pause the video if you need to you know see what this is a little bit better uh, the biggest difference, I guess, really is F3, you know, mouse get position, besides being in parentheses, because it is a variable, we are putting the and symbol uh, at the beginning of each of our variable de uh, name. Uh, down here, a clipboard, it's a built-in variable, so A underscore clipboard, and uh, we're just formatting it a little bit differently here, so uh, just take a look at that, and that's how you're going to do that. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this let me know if you guys find you know different issues because every website is going to be a little bit different and you know the rules and how it works i'm sure the browsers can have different types of safeguards against it uh, so just play around share in the comments below what your experience or hints and tips that you found work a little bit better um, i know one of the biggest questions that's going to come up obviously is well how do i do it for those images searches yeah you're not really going to be able to do that with auto hotkeys. I mean, that's kind of the point on those. Um, once again, they, they still are checking for your mouse movements, but with the pictures being different every time, I mean, you're pretty much out of luck with that. So I know that question is going to come up, but this is good for just the click box. Um, yeah. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to subscribe, throwing out a video every single Saturday, pretty much. And let me know if you guys want to see anything more specific in auto hotkeys i'm doing my videos in both version one and version two now uh, for the most part unless it's like a library i don't have time to sit there and convert it back or forth um but yeah all right everybody have a good one